Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here. And this week I want to do a short little video about how to install the 21P NEM decoder and the 21P NEM8. Now there's a lot of confusion as to how this decoder actually fits onto the motherboard. Now when you look at the motherboard, you're going to see the circuit board with a header that has 10 pins on one side and 11 pins on the other. And that's how you get the 21 pin. Now inside the decoder, there's actually a block right here on this pin where you can see that it's keyed to make sure that it only goes on one way. Well, the problem is there's still a lot of people that are able to orient it wrong or they try to put it in and it only goes on one way. So when you're looking at your 21 pin motherboard inside your model, you want to make sure that the black plastic header is on top of the decoder when you press it down so that way the pins line up perfectly and when you're finished you'll see the very top of the pins sticking up through the decoder and as you can see that's a nice flush fit you can see how the black plastic headers are stacked on top of each other and you get a nice solid seal and you'll notice there's no play in that decoder now this particular 21 pin motherboard is actually out of an Athern locomotive, an Athern Genesis model. Now we also have other options. For example, you have an aftermarket installation here called a decoder buddy. And the decoder buddy again has the same 21 pin that you can take your decoder and simply plug it in. And again, you wanna make sure that those pins are flush. In this case, they stick up a little higher. So when you're doing your installation, that way you can simply plug the decoder in. Now one th other thing I do want to point out, not all 21 pin motherboards are the same. So what, am I, what am I talking about? Well, in this case, we're talking about a 21 P NEM uh, description actually calls out the type of header or the type of plug that's supposed to be used. Now there are some companies out there like the Nix Decoder Buddy that offer a 21 pin uh, aftermarket decoder install for the motherboard. Now the problem is, is not all of them are following the NEM spec, which means in that case, this one is made by one of our competitors. Um, actually the pins are too small and so the decoder actually sits loose on their 21 pin motherboard. So you want to be careful when you're purchasing your 21 pin motherboard if you do want to convert. I do know that the Athern one here and the Nix Decoder Buddy are great options to follow the NEM 21 pin spec. And again, you want to make sure that the plastic header is mounted on top. Now again, you want to look at these. These two particular motherboards are pre-regulated for LEDs. So that means you do not have to add a resistor to uh, install LEDs. Now if you're looking at volt and a half light bulbs or other 12 volt light bulbs, that's where you'll need to look at a little differently and follow the instructions on the motherboard to find out where to tap into to get either V-RAW or to get a uh, pad where you can add a resistor for a 1.5 volt. So that's all I've got for you this week, guys. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, support at soundtracks.com, or reach us through the web portal. You can contact us through there, or give us a call, and we'll be happy to help answer any questions we can for you.